Hello friends, myself Professor Lok Patel from NJ Institute of Engineering and Technology, Automobile Engineering Department. So today we are going to talk about Chapter 5 that is Steering System and uh, you are watching uh, videos, uh, lecture series of subject Vehicle Dynamics. So in previously we have studied about uh, what do you mean by Steering System, how Steering System are going to uh, effect or how we are going to implement that system in our cars. So in today's lecture we will see about the different steering linkages that are connected with our steering gearboxes and uh, steering wheel. And the second topic that we will discuss about that are the different steering types. What are the steering types and how that uh, steering types are going to affect my overall driving condition as well as in running condition. So let us begin with the first topic that is steering linkages. So we all know there are several mechanical linkages There are uh, bound and make one steering mechanism ultimately to turn my overall vehicle from to left or in right direction. So basically we can say that the steering linkage is, is the part of an automotive steering system that connects to the front wheels. So we are giving uh, inputs to my front wheels and according to that the vehicle is going to travel and due to that uh, input my rear wheels are only following my front wheels. So these front wheels are my live wheels. The second point we can say that there is uh, steering linkages which connects the steering gearbox. You all know there are several types of steering gearboxes are there like racket pinion, uh, there wheel uh, and wheel type of steering gearboxes are there. So number of steering gearboxes are there. So the steering linkages that are connected with my steering gearbox to the front wheels and consisting of number of rods. There are several mechanical linkages or rods are connected between steering gearbox and front wheel. Now these rods are connected with a socket arrangement similar to ball joint. There are number of joints that we require for easily movement between these consecutive uh, joints and uh, steering linkages. So for that we have tie rod uh, which can easily trans transfer my one energy to another or we can say uh, turning portion. Moving further, the steering gears are attached to a rear rod which moves when the steering wheel is turned and the rear rod is supported at one end. So we can say that there are number of rods, one or two are flexible links, uh, another one are the uh, movable links. So according to the arrangement or according to the mechanism, we will find our final or best suitable steering mechanism. In next slide, we will see that this is a typical steering linkage mechanism in which we will, you can see that the steering box they are, that is in orange color and from steering box the actual movement with the help of that gear box are transmitted to the pitman arm and from that pitman arm you will find a track rod which can move left or right side according to the movement given by the driver and from that track rod the tie rod is attached with the ball joint and that is connected with my front wheels. So according to that my front wheels are going to react as per the direction given by the driver. So this is the typical image of steering wheel mechanism. So now let us continue with the steering system that how that steering or actual steering system or different steering geometry are going to affect my overall driving condition. So let us see one close closest to my vehicle the uh, rotational angle or we can say the angle of tires turning has been reduced. Moving further we will see different types of steering in which we will see three different types of topic for steering types in which we will include first is the four bar mechanism that is the basic mechanism of steering type, second is the Eckermann steering and the third one is the Davy steering. So let us see one by one these three types of steering types in which you can see that the four bar steering in which you will find fixed link, that link must be fixed throughout the driving and 
one larger tie rod is there that is connected with the fixed link with two another links. So giving input to my tie rod, the wheels are going to react as well. So according to the steering mechanism or according to the steering wheel, if I want to take left turn or right turn, my tie rod is going to move towards left or right side. Why? My fixed link is going to be placed as fixed for the entire mechanism. So this is my four bar steering system. Now uh, here you can see the difference between the angle of inner wheel and outer wheel. You can see the larger angle of inner wheels and very less angle of outer wheels. One example has been given for a car which rotates towards the right side. So right side turn has been there and same example for that right wheel is my inner wheel and left wheel is my outward wheel. So at the instantaneous point or the center point my overall vehicle is going to turn accordingly. So actual purple line you can see that is radius of outer wheel that needs to travel more distance than the inner wheel and the inner wheel that needs to travel less distance. So these are the two main difference between inner wheel and outer wheel. How, the, how they travel differently at very different angle. Moving further, the second one that is Ackermann steering. So Ackermann steering has different kind of mechanism than four bar steering. In four bar steering you will find fixed link as well as tie rod. While Ackermann steering is having the difference in length of that two links. So according to that Ackermann steering, how my vehicle is going to react while turning that you can see from this animation. Like if I would turn right or left, that can be done with the help of sleep angle down that we will we have already discussed about the sleep angle. So difference in sleep angle minimize wheel skidding on turning due to inclination that is not going to uh, happen or we can say the Ackermann steering is very perfect for uh, cars. So here Ackermann steering is there at which you will find instantaneous center at rear axle point. The third one that is my Davis steering that is very complicated type of steering system in which you will find tie rod as well, fixed link as well while the slide joint has been placed. So according to the or with the help of that slide joint my inner wheels and outer wheels are react differently. For inner wheels the angle must be less uh, high or for outer wheels the angle, uh, the angle must be very low at that point. So this is my Davis steering system. But you can see that the Davis steering has lots of mechanical components attached with it. So as many mechanical components are there, so we will find very high friction in such kind of steering system or we can say it is very complicated type of steering system. So this is all about these three types of steering system. So that is all for today's lecture. Thank you.